In this video, I want to talk about the Backstack listener. So in your app, you can have like multiple fragments and there can be a scenario that you display the app title based on the fragment name. So if you have say three fragments in your code, uh, fragment A, fragment B and fragment C, and you want to display the title of your app, like if you are on fragment A, then display the title as fragment A, if you are on B, then B and C. So how can you do it? Because um, say you navigate from fragment A to B and then from B to C and then you click on the back button. Okay. Now in this scenario, when you, you know that you, you came back to fragment B after clicking the back button on fragment C, but programmatically um, it's, it's not easy to, um, to figure out the fragment you are at. So to solve this problem, you have a backstack listener. And this listener comes into picture when the user clicks on the back button. Now let me show you how you can handle this scenario. First thing is when whenever you are replacing a new fragment with an old one, say you have a frame layout uh, like we have in our app. So then you add a name, you attach a name to the fragment being replaced. So if I'm replacing the current fragment with say the top fragment which is a new fragment uh, then I attach a visible fragment name to it okay that's the first step um, and the second step is so you add on backstack change listener like I mentioned this listener will be called whenever the user clicks on the back button okay and this um, this listener is attached to the fragment manager like you can call this listener so basically it has a method on backstack changed now what you do in this method is pretty simple you just get you just try to find the fragment by tag and tag is nothing but the name you added so say you you were on fragment c and then you click on back button so the android app will basically pull the fragment b from the backstack okay and when it pulls the fragment b then that, that fragment will be attached with this name, visible fragment. So you try to find the fragment by tag and that's it. Then you check whether this fragment is an instance of say fragment B. And if it is, then you add some code, like you set the title and stuff like that. So that's the usage of the back stack changed listener. Um, I hope you get some idea out of this. So go ahead, try it out and read more on this. Um, and the code will be checked in so you can refer to the code and uh, play around with it. Okay, thanks.